Welcome back to the channel, as you can see from the title and uh, the intro, you join me on this magnificent venue, Blackthorn Fishery in Oswald Street. It is an absolutely stunning venue, really is beautiful. There's my swim for the next three nights, I'm an happy boy. Got me some cider, got some nice weather, and yeah, we're going to try and winkle a few fish out. Um, I'm in one of the bivvy swims. Don't know anything about this place it is three and a half acres uh, it's about 120 fish in here there's i think three known 40s lots of backup 30s uh, i think there's another three 30s that are touching the 40 mark 30, 38 39 pound like i said lots of backup 30s and god knows how many 20s in here so uh lots to go at however it's not it's not an easy place to fish uh, and i've been told that if if i winkle one out uh, on my first trip here then i've done it done, done well basically um, so if you don't know anything about Blackthorn, there's been plenty on YouTube about it before. Um, it's basically, you've got these amazing lodges. Uh, you've got the, the original log, um, which was the one that has been here a long time. And then there's since been three other log lodges, the East Lodge, the South Lodge, and the one down to my left, which I think is the North Lodge. Um, and they are absolutely amazing. Um, I've been there a look around one and uh, yeah, I've done some filming for you so have a look at the lodge now and I'll come back to you and we'll have a chat about the swim and what we're doing. Folks, this is the South Lodge and it is a proper posh South Lodge and it is very posh, posh carpent at its best. Just look at that, Blackthorn Fishery, it is just absolutely beautiful I've never been to a fishery so clean and so well maintained in my life and these are amazing all your fish care stuff nets, slings uh, cradle way tripod Got table there for the outside dining got barbecue points just behind does it get any better? I don't think it does and then you come to this massive gravel swim. You could probably get three big boobies on here. And a couple of rods either side if you want. It's just beautiful. So a quick look inside. And uh, I'll show you this amazing lodge. I have to get further back here just to show you. Open plan, kitchen, TV just there. Nice little dining table or a little breakfast table if you like. And as I swing you around, nice big L-shaped couch. And it smells beautiful in here. It's all spotlessly clean. And yeah, you can book these folks. Get onto Blackthorn Fishery website. Uh, they do go quite quick, so 
get yourself on there, book yourself a future trip because honestly you will not be disappointed. This place is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Everything you could possibly want in the kitchen. And uh, go through to the bedroom. And you've got the option of using the double bedroom or you can bivvy up on the swim. Your choice. Have a quick look in here. Beautiful double bed. There's a TV on the wall and you've got some French doors there if you want to let some air in during the night. Nice double wardrobe. Honestly, folks, this is top notch. It really is. Posh car, we know it's best. Into the shower. Nice modern shower, rainfall shower, enough for two people if you're into that kind of thing. And uh, there we have YouTube, Bezos Carp Channel. Check it out. Yeah, uh, little hand basin and heated hand towel. Well, honestly. It is absolutely gorgeous. And as we look out from the lounge, just tap on that so it's not so bright. That is your outlook from the lounge. Straight out onto your swim. What more could you want in carp fishing? Look at that. So folks, I'm gonna get back on my swim now, get the rods back in, and hopefully get my first black thorn fish. I really appreciate the uh, the invite down here, so thank you, Ben. Um, yeah, I honestly, I can't believe the place. I am really, really so impressed. So impressed. You so, as you walk away from the cabin, then we'll just swing you around. Then you can see another lodge just there. Nice little bit of water between you. Uh, well, it's a little bit, it's a decent amount of water between you. And, uh, oh my god, it's just stunning. It really is stunning. Gravel path all the way around. Um, just never been anywhere like it. Lovely private little venue. Um, yeah, folks, the only way you can really book on here is by booking one of the lodges. Uh, the Bivy Swim's there for members. Um, He's not currently taking any more members at the moment, so don't get bombarding with phone calls to get on here. Because the only way you can get on is to book yourself a lodge. And why would you not want to treat the missus? If the missus is moaning at you because you're always going fishing and she doesn't want to go and stay in your smelly bivvy, treat her. Honestly, a Valentine's trip here would be amazing. Any trip at all, your missus will love it, I promise you. She'll put her feet up, glass of wine, glass of Prosecco, Read a Kindle, or you do a bit of fishing. And I'm pretty sure she will love it. Trust me, get on here, it's amazing. Well, I'm gonna get back on the swim. And uh, let's see, I'll just quickly show you all the other lodges. All the other lodges we've walked up there. Honestly, pristine. Literally pristine. So, get some fishing done, and uh, see what we can do. How about that? That's what you call posh carping. Yeah. I know my missus would absolutely love it here, so might be a little lodge on the cards maybe this year or next year. So we're all set up. This is my swim. Massive swim. I tell you, it's about seven or eight metres long. I'll just walk you back here. And you can see. I've got out the extension on the bivvy as well. Just for a little bit more room. Um, so yeah, folks, I'm delighted to be out. Um, hope you enjoyed the France video I know I've lost some of the footage but still managed to get a video out and uh, had a lot of positive comments so hope you all enjoyed it had a laugh watching it we certainly had a laugh making it and and editing it um, yeah gutted about the hard drive but that's a thing of the past now I'll forget that and we move on so delighted to be back out thanks to Ben at Blackthorn for inviting me down uh, he's basically giving an invite down here uh, do a bit of filming um, do a bit of filming for him and uh, that's how I'm able to fish this bivvy swim. Just quickly show you the water. So not a massive amount of water, but as you can see, the tree that juts out there, that is the end of my sort of swim, probably a rod length past, which I think is about 10 wraps. And then we go all the way across in a straight line to the edge of the island here, um, or back to the reed line. 
the back of the island, but basically no further than that island. So, so yeah, I've got a little bit of a bay here, um, and the fish do get in here apparently. So, contemplating it, putting out the two rods. Uh, I may, depending on how we go, if I don't see any fish, I might bring in the one rod. Just leave the two out, because it's a bit tight in here. Um, all I've done at the moment is some singles, and I've sort of um, catapulted just a few freebies around it. Uh, right rods down the right hand margin. Middle rod, about a rod length off the island. Uh, there, and um, left hand rod is at the end of the end of the tree there. So, not too taxing to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to go and kill another fish out. I had uh, obviously I had France, I had Linear. So I've had a good few fish out recently, and I want to sort of continue that form. Rigs I'm using this time because it's a barbless rule. Um, I've gone with a slightly different rig, not the Ronnie rigs. Just basically my own little rig. Um, with, a, with a couple of the uh, honey and tiger nut uh, wafters on there um, and yeah nothing too taxing really put a little bit of the voodoo in there catapulted a few free baits around it and, and yeah just gonna sit back now and chill um, what we got 20 past 3 in the afternoon now I've been here since 11 but obviously I've been filming and doing bits and bobs um, and uh, yeah only got the rods in about half an hour ago um, so we're going to chill out for the evening, we're going to get some food on, um, chill out for the evening, and with a bit of luck we'll get something, well, in the time that we're here I'll be happy to get one. So yeah folks, uh, again thanks for watching the last video, I really appreciate all the comments. Um, we all had me a cider now, it was cold but it's starting to warm up now. And uh, yeah, I'll have a couple of ciders, chill out. Uh, and on that note folks, if you want to buy me a cider, you click on the uh, there's a little button and it says thanks where you can donate and buy me a little drink if you're interested in doing that supporting the channel i'll be very grateful and i'll pop your name up in the next video and say thank you very much for buying me a beer um no obligation obviously but uh, it would be appreciated uh and that's it folks uh, if you haven't already like subscribe and uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell that'll let you know every time i'll put out a video uh if you're interested if you're not switch off no, seriously, uh, I'm going to chill out, get some food on, and then I'll hopefully I'll come back to you this evening with a little fish in the bag. Uh, be nice to get one of those 40s. Um, UK PB, got to beat that, £35 something was it? I can't remember what I had. Um, yeah, I can't remember what it was, I'll have to look, £35 something. Uh, I need a 40, I need a UK 40. That's my quest at the moment. If I can get a UK 40 out of Blackthorn, I'll be over the moon. Folks, I'll catch up with you in a little while. Listen to that. Not a sound. The sheep were going mad earlier, literally going ballistic. So uh, thankfully they've stopped and it's all quiet. Um, there's nothing to update you with, unfortunately. Um, but I've had a chill out on my chair here in the sun, had a bit of a nap for half an hour, I've had a few beers, and uh, yeah, that's some strange happening with the rods, the old liners and stuff like that. There has been a few liners. I did think I had a take on the right hand rod, is it? I had a good few beeps when I looked out, it was pulling round to the right, and then it just stopped before I even got to it. Um, there's a barbless rule on here, so. so I ain't going to do anything tonight, folks, to be fair. As I said, I've put out the single hook baits, uh, the wafters, um, and I've just catapulted a few freebies over the top. I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want any disturbance in this swim at all. Um, I want the fish to be able to come in here without any noise, any mess, without any big beds of bait. And hopefully, maybe during the night, I'll have something. I don't know whether it does night bites here or what, I've no no idea. See the other lodges over the back, absolutely beautiful. But they're a lot more comfortable than I am. But time full of island. If I don't see you with a fish in the night, I'll see you in the morning. Morning folks. It's been a very, very quiet night. Other than the birds swimming through my uh, lines constantly and waking me up. Yeah, so... Literally no liners or anything, it's been, yeah, completely silent. 
It's uh, such a peaceful place here, though. I mean, as you can hear. Apart from animals and stuff, there's no background noise or anything. So, just not seeing any fish. No signs. No shows. No fizzing. No jumping. Nothing at all. I'll spin you around now and show you what the lake looks like. It's like an ice skating ring at the minute. It's that flat and calm. Just gone seven o'clock now. I've been here since about half six. And not seeing a thing. It's just beautiful. It really is. Nice and peaceful. But uh, I know he said it was, Ben said it was going to be difficult, but. Um, I don't think I appreciated how difficult it might be. I mean, we've got to give you some clues as to where they are. I mean, when I got here yesterday, the only clues we had was out in the middle where it, where Ben had put some bait yesterday to feed them or the day before yesterday. There were some flat spots in the middle where you could see they were feeding clearly, but that's not my water, so. Yeah. Nothing as yet. I'll come up with a plan today, work out what to do. Whether I'm going to go, whether I'm going to go with a bit of bait, or whether I'm going to go with some bags or something, I'm not sure. But it's difficult unless you see some fish. It's difficult to know what, where to go, or what. So yeah, I always get a, bit, a little bit lost when I don't see fish. But there you go. It's um, it's one of them things. Just have to keep going. Not sure, I think we've got some decent weather today again. Yeah, I think it's gonna be warm. When I came out here this morning, the sun was blazing on this spot. Um, it was lovely and warm, but it's got a bit overcast now. So, have me a morning brew and uh, get some breakfast in a bit and settle in for the day. Come up with a plan. I'm missing my body, to be honest with you. I like having the dog with me when I'm away fishing, but you know a lot of places don't allow it, which kind of a lot of the time puts me off going. But just one of those things. Um, so yeah, folks, there's not really much to update you with, but it's a lovely morning. I'm out fishing. It doesn't get better than this, does it? So I'll catch up with you a little bit later when uh, when I'm settled. Come up with a plan and let you know what we're doing. See you in a bit. Breakfast is on, brew is on, no fish is on. You can see I've took out the middle rod. It's um, after getting some liners on there yesterday evening. It's told me everything I need to know about the swim really, that fish are potentially coming in here and getting spooked by that middle rod. So as Ben advised in the beginning, now down to two rods and we took them nicely down, one in the left margin, one in the right margin. It left, leaves this bay open now, so hopefully fish don't get spooked. So hopefully that will bring a change this evening, we'll see. Put one little spoonful of bait over the right rod. Um, not done anything with the left as yet. But uh, get these beautiful sausages down me. We'll be good to go. Folks, as you can see, nice little rain shower. Uh, weather doesn't know what it's doing at the minute. One minute it's sunny, then it's cloudy, then it's showery. So hopefully a couple of changes will bring on some fish. Um, left rod's been changed up. I've put a solid bag on there now. Um, small little pop-up on there with the honey and tiger nut. And uh, pretty much in the same spot, a little bit, probably a little bit further out than it, what it was. And uh, right rod's still down in the right margin. Um, not seeing anything show still, apart from out in the middle, some flat spots where fish might be feeding. That's it. Um, I've spoke to pretty much everyone on the lake. Nobody's caught yet. But I guess it's to be expected after uh, three weeks of a closure for spawning. Fish are going to be a little bit wary now there's anglers on here. So who knows, maybe, maybe this evening. I'll start switching on and uh, yeah, then I'll decide whether we're going to put any bait in or whether we're just going to stick with them minimal handfuls here and there. I 
don't see the point in putting in a lot of bait at the moment, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, as you can see, it stopped raining again. In another 10 minutes, it'll start raining again, and then it'll stop, and it's just been like that pretty much for the last hour. So yeah, what a beautiful place though. And there's nothing better than sitting back in here and just watching that water. When the sun comes out, I'll go and sit back outside. That's it folks, there's not really a lot to film, not really a lot to uh, tell you about. It's, uh, it's a bit of a different video when Badger and Andy are not with me, it's just myself talking shit, especially when there's no fish. So I might get Andy and Badger on FaceTime a bit later and we'll have a chat with them. Um, but other than that folks, uh, nothing to report. I'm going to kick back and chill out, might have, even have a little nap. Folks, afternoon. Still not much to update you with. However, on a positive note, there's a lot of fish in the area. I'll just quickly show you now where we are. Keep as quiet as possible so we don't spook them. So basically, my right hand rod is down in the margin. And between the island, between the island and the reeds. They're coming around there and they're sort of basking here. So they're in the right sort of area for my right hand rod, which is out the way down in the margin. I've dropped the lines right down as well. And uh, I think it was a good idea definitely to move that middle rod out of the way completely. Um, left hand rod, out towards the, the tree at the end. It's got a solid bag on there. That tree there, solid bag around about there. Uh, I've not seen much around there, but Got a bit of a breeze pushing now left to right. And there's a lot of fish basking in that one corner. So, as you can see, they're all around here. My rod's just down to the right hand side, so. It's a good sign. It's the first proper sign of fish I've seen since I've been here. And uh, yeah, again, weather's been hit and miss, you can see now, look. Not sunny, cloudy, rainy, a bit of everything. But um, just builds your confidence a little bit, especially when you see fish over where your rod is somewhere. You think there's a good chance you might get a take. Um, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see on there, but my lines are literally slack. So they're along the deck. There's nothing really there to spook them. Um, so I've been look. I'll stay in this area. There's no lines in here, so and I'm kept very quiet the whole time I've been here. So they should be quite happy basking in that in that area, thinking that there's nobody there. So with a bit of luck to pick up my rig. Good signs, good signs. But we'll see. If I do get anything, obviously, we'll get it on film. And I'll see you in a little while. That is the island there, folks, and the fish have been literally all around here. My rig is just in front. You can see breeze pushing up into this corner as well. So they're pretty much hanging around to the right hand side of this island. We'll see. Hopefully the rod will scream off at some point. Folks, time's pushing on now, half seven in the evening, second day, and still no fish. It's quite encouraging to see fish down here all day really, basking in that sun. But, but uh, I need them to um, get the reds down, but they haven't as yet. So, still time. I think they're still there. I did walk up about 20 minutes ago and see them stick its head out. Um, but yeah, no action on the rods as yet. So I'm just going to wait. There's not much else I can do. And, you know, this is my bit of water and 
they don't feed, they don't feed. Um, on the beers. We have tonight's tea. Nice bit of steak, onions, cooked in butter, salt and pepper. Absolutely beautiful. And that is my outlook today. I'm still praying, fisher in that little bay around there. Hopefully they get the reds down and take my bait this evening. But we'll have to wait and see. Beautiful evening. So folks, hopefully I'll catch up with you this evening with an update. We'll see. Morning folks. Another disappointing night. Very quiet. Nothing going on. I don't believe anything's come out on the lake since I've been here. So, thankfully, it's not just me. And uh, that's what happens sometimes. The fish just tend to switch off. Um, it's not surprising after they've been on their own quiet for three weeks after the spawning. So, a uh, bit of a shame, but we've still got till tomorrow morning to try and make something happen. Um, and I think today I'm going to come up with a completely different plan. I say different plan, just maybe a couple of different spots. I always try and just make a plan and stick to it, but there's nothing happening at all. I mean, there's nothing happening around the lake, so I don't think it's my plan that's failing. I think it's just the lake's not fishing. Um, so I think I'm going to try a couple of different spots. I've pretty much left the island alone the whole time I've been here. Um, so I might just put a rod close to the island um, and move them away from the margins and see if that has any difference. Uh, I'm not sure it will, but I've got to try something. Um, can't do any zig fishing, that's out of the rules. Uh, basically anything that, that I can think of, I can't really do. Um, and I have only got a small bit of water here, so it's not like I can go past it anywhere. So yeah, it is what it is. It's absolutely lovely, another beautiful morning. Was it just gone eight o'clock and I've got blazing sunshine. So yeah, it's really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Cheers, folks. Um, let bite time pass. I say bite time. Let this morning pass. And uh, yeah, we'll have some food and then we'll come up with a plan, bring the rods in. I might even bring them in for a few hours and have a walk around, see what else is going on. See what else is going on, but I say yesterday the fish were all down here. Not all of them. There was a good few fish down here on the surface, um, and the fact that I pulled my middle rod out has left it. You know, they feel safe down this end. And both of my other rods, left, right, left, and right ones, are sort of pinned to the sides. So it's done the trick in that aspect, but. They just didn't get down and feed afterwards. Or well, they disappeared out, I don't know. So that's it for this morning, folks. Um, another nice day, 20 degrees. High pressure. So, don't know, not sure what to do yet. I'll come back to you an update. Come back to you with an update a little bit later when I know what I'm doing. I might have a change of clothes. Have a bit of a wash as well. A little tramp. Folks, finally we're all set. It's about half 11 in the morning now and uh, Charlie the owner has been round and had a chat with us and yeah, put me straight on a few things, sizes of baits etc and apparently on here they're very very finicky about the size of the baits and they in most cases want really really small baits, 8 mil, no, no bigger than 8 mil, even trimmed down 8 millers uh, which is unusual so but you've got to listen to people who know best. Uh, he's also put me on a couple of little spots as well, which he said do produce. So when I was over the overhanging tree the uh, last couple of days, I've now moved it in. There is some little lily pads, as you can see, around the edge. As close into the lily pads as I can. Again, very small bait and a little mesh bag with some crumb pellet in there. Um, and I've just uh, one cast straight on the spot, thankfully. No tangles. Uh, middle rod. He said if you go straight towards the tree... About seven and a half wraps, that's pretty much my limit. And uh, he said that's not a bad spot either. And then the right rod, down in that bay where I've seen the fish. Just in there, there's another little set of lily pads. And uh, he said if you drop it near to them, that generally produces as well. 
So it's pretty much where I had the right road anyway, but I wasn't quite as close. What I've done this time is I've walked round, just lowered the bait in, and I've sort of free lined it back to the swim. Um, so yeah, uh, I think the fish will come back here today. I think they'll be in the area already. That middle rod is completely slack. Well, they're all completely slack, to be honest with you. All the lines are now on the deck and the fish should be free to come into this area. And hopefully that will uh, produce a bite. I think one fish has come out. Uh, I think the lad in the in the North Lodge, I think he fishes from main line, him and his wife, or him and his partner. Uh, I think he's had one out, but that's all I've heard of so far. So we'll go with that plan for today. Uh, three rods, like I said, there's no lines in the water now, so shouldn't be an issue with spooking the fish. And uh, the wind is pushing over this way, so they should come back. And fingers crossed they get in their margins nice and tight and pick up my tiny little hook bait, which is a honey and tiger nut spa bait, trimmed down pop up, really small, only about 8 mil or something like that. And uh, we'll see how it goes. The middle rod, incidentally, I've got it on a solid bag. Again, trimmed down honey and tiger nut. Uh, but just a small solid bag. Yesterday I put out quite a big one. Uh, we'll just go small because if they're quite fussy on here, or then uh, we'll switch it up. We'll see how we go and I'll come back to you a little bit later. Folks, good evening. It's uh, still been a quiet day. Um, I've managed some sleep and I've not touched the rod since I last spoke to you. Still tucked away in the margins. Um, still one on a solid bag and it's been very quiet, um, unfortunately. Not really sure what else I can do, to be honest with you. Um, I know sort of, I think two fish have come out since I've been here one uh, the main line guys they've been on uh, I think the north lodge and then there's a couple in the original lodge they've just had a little stocky I didn't realise there was any stockies in here but £11 which has now gone into the stock pond but that, that's all that's come out they're just not on it whatsoever so it is pretty much just a posh camping trip really but I've really enjoyed it. It's nice to get back out. Um, uh, it's been quite a while since I blanked as well. Well, we haven't blanked yet, not till the morning. So, so yeah, I'm just going to sit here for the evening. going to put on some food. I'll show you what we've got in a minute. And uh, have a couple of beers and relax. Because that's what you can do. Um, that's it really, folks. Got really nothing else to update you with. This is what we're having for tea. I'll show you now. Hot dogs and onions, some nice bread rolls, a couple of bottles of bud, and sit watching that beautiful view. Folks, it really is last knockings now. It's nine o'clock, I've been up a few hours, and uh, we've not even had a line that had anything. Um, I just don't think the fish are in here, and they haven't been for the last sort of day or so. Um, been a couple of fish out, uh, I think the main line ones have had a 38 and a 26 or something like that. Uh, the ones over the way have had a, a stocky of about, I think it was about £11, which has gone into the stock pan, as I said. And Mako around in the South Lodge, he's had a £26 yesterday evening, so pleased for him. him. Pleased for them all, really. Um, just hasn't happened for me on this occasion, so so be it. I've still had a fantastic time. It's lovely sitting here, very peaceful. And uh, I shall definitely be back. Um, be nice to get in one of the lodges, but we'll have to see. Um, save up some dough, see if the missus is up for it. And uh, in fact, I'll get her to save up some dough and book it for my birthday or something. But yeah, yeah, folks, if you can get yourself a lodge, they're absolutely amazing. And uh, although I haven't caught any fish on this occasion, it's, you know, it's not the end of the world. The fish are here, the fish that are in here are absolutely stunning. Uh, if you have a look online, you'll see they're amazing. Um, but there you go, and that'll be the end of the trip. And, uh, yeah, at least you've had a chance to look around the place. I mean, there's plenty of videos online, but um, uh, at least you've had a chance to look properly inside one of the cabins and, and see what they're like if you fancy booking them. Uh, but there you go. Folks, again, thanks for watching. Apologies, there's no fish in this one, but um, that's the way it goes sometimes. I don't even know where I am next. I haven't got anything planned until October time. Uh, I think I've got five nights on Merrington in October. Um, but up until then, might be down at my syndicate. Who knows? See what pops up. But uh, folks, don't forget to like the video. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.
I'm in sync 